It took OnePlus some time to make a foldable phone and finally they are ready with it. This is the OnePlus Open and today we are going to take a deeper look in this device and see what's going on here and why is this one of the best foldables right now, if not even the best foldable. Well, OnePlus Open is a device that has one of the best build qualities that I have been reviewing recently. And uh, I think that this is mainly because of uh, the fact that they decided to spend a little bit more time in developing the hinge, in developing almost everything into this phone. It comes at 245 grams for the leather version this is a vegan leather version this is not a real leather and uh, there's also an emerald green if i'm not mistaken and uh, the emerald green is a glass back phone i really like this one i really like the leather one because it feels better it's much more resilient for scratches and uh, to be honest i'm still missing my lg g4 with the leather back at 245 grams it comes lighter than the Samsung Fold 5 and the Google Pixel Fold and I have to say that uh, this is a little bit lighter even than my iPhone 13 Pro Max with its uh, case so I think that this is a no worries for me at all I don't mind the weight of this phone and I find it to be okay one of the things of the design of the phone that may bother some of you is the camera bump and I can assure you that this camera bump in person looks very nice it looks absolutely great great and it's not like on the photos it's not like uh, all the videos that you're going to see that uh, it looks so huge it is uh, uncomfortable or something like this that's not the case in person this camera bump looks very nice at the bottom of the phone we have a usb type c port which is usb 3.1 we also have one of the stereo speakers and the sim tray at the top, however, we have two speakers. These uh, two speakers are part of the stereo system of this phone and uh, they are two at the top because OnePlus decided to make something like a spatial sound for the phone. One of the things that I enjoy very much is also positioned at the top of the phone and it is the IR Blaster. So you can use this phone for controlling all of your multimedia stuff or all of your appliances that have an IR Blaster and work with a remote control. You can control them with the phone. So this is a big thumbs up for me. One of the main reasons that I like very much the OnePlus Open is the fact that the front screen, the cover screen, is actually a decent size screen. And maybe not only a decent size screen, but the aspect ratio is also right. And what I mean by this is that it's not like on the Samsung Galaxy Fold where you have a very narrow, very tiny screen. Here you have an absolutely usable and absolutely normal front screen, the cover screen. And I think that uh, this is the best approach that a company with a foldable phone can go for to be able to use the phone as a normal unit while in folded position. The cover screen is with a 6.31 inch diagonal and also it goes up to 120 hertz refresh rate and mainly because this is an AMOLED LTPO screen you are going to have a variable refresh rate depending on the things that you are doing. If you are looking into the settings, if you are just uh, holding the phone like this, if you are talking to someone, watching a video, something like this, the phone will decide for itself if it has to go an upper frame rate or if it has to lower the frame rates. So this is one of the things that also saves battery and I really like it. This one goes from 10 Hz to 120 Hz. And as I am still talking about the cover screen, I have to say that uh, I like it even for editing some of the photos because it has 100% uh, of the DCI P3 gamut coverage. So you're going to have very nice colors. You're going to have very um, real to life colors, if I can say it like that. And if you don't like something uh, about the colors, you can go into the settings menu and change it because there are some presets that are uh, set there and you can work around with them. Well, the main highlight of the OnePlus Open is actually the inside screen it is the main screen and it is with a 7.82 inch uh, diagonal so this is a pretty big one it is almost like a tablet feel and I think that uh, it can easily replace some of the tablets that are right now on the market the refresh rate of the main screen is also up to 120 Hertz it is also AMOLED LTPO screen so it will control the refresh rate depending on the things that you are doing on it but this one goes from 1 Hertz to 120 the thing that I like about this screen is that uh, we don't have that much of a bezels. We have almost 90% of a screen to body ratio. So this gives you plenty of space to work with. This gives you plenty of screen. And uh, one of the best things is that uh, the screen colors, the screen accuracy, everything is almost the same.
same as on the cover screen so here you don't have much of a difference between the two screens and this is something that I really like this is something that I really enjoy that everything here is going smooth that everything here on the main screen will look the same as on the cover screen so this is also a big thumbs up for me for OnePlus and I really enjoy it no matter if you're going for multimedia for social media whatever you're doing with this screen I have to say that the most of the people are going to be very happy with the performance that it has very happy with the colors that it pops out very happy with the contrast and the brightness and uh, it of course depends on the source that you are watching so for example if you are watching Netflix or Disney Plus it may be a little bit better than watching YouTube and uh, watching some videos on YouTube that are not the highest quality but the content creators that I am watching on YouTube that I am following I think that their quality is uh, on a high level so this uh, screen of the phone can actually show me their videos in the best side in the best colors and I think that I enjoy it very much as a tech journalist I have been reviewing many other foldable phones but uh, to be absolutely honest this is the only one that I have spent so much time on the main screen because most of the other phones were uh, let's say the main screen was a little bit off compared to the cover screen but this here is absolutely great and I spent most of the time on this screen here watching uh, social media videos uh, doing some work actually because this is a uh, pretty nice for multitasking and I'll talk about it a little bit later but nonetheless the screen is perfect for almost all kinds of entertainment I think that for a folding phone the hinge is the most important part and here the guys from OnePlus decided to include only 69 pieces into the hinge so they are making something that is a little bit better in my opinion than over engineering some of the other hinges that we see on the other phones which are with uh, 100 ish 200 ish pieces and something like this because when you have less pieces uh, the likeliness of it to break down is a little bit less also the thing that I can say here from my opinion from my usage of the phone is that the hinge is great if not even the best hinge that I have tested in a foldable phone you can literally stop it in any position that you want and this is not the case with most of the other foldable phones also when you close it everything closes so tight that uh, I doubt that there is going to be any pocket lint and uh, stuff going inside of the phone and again there is a little bit of a droplet shape uh, when the screen is folded so the crease is not going to be that big and the crease is not going to be uh, that harsh and when speaking about the crease I have to say that there is not much to see here there's not much to see here if you're not looking at it in an angle because if you're looking on an angle you're going to see just a little bit of a crease if you're going to look at it on a turned off screen you're going to notice it for me it is more than perfect I didn't expect even to see that much of uh, work involved here into making this piece. When it comes to the hardware of the phone you cannot expect anything less than the most uh, perfect the most powerful that your hands can get to so here we have the snapdragon 8 gen 2 and uh, of course this is already not the newest because of the day that i'm recording this video qualcomm released the snapdragon 8 gen 3 but anyways here we have the snapdragon 8 gen 2 which is plenty powerful for almost everything that you can throw on this phone Another great thing is that we have 16GB of LPDDR5X memory and 512GB of internal storage which in this case is UFS 4.0 so this 4.0 means that you have a very 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 fast internal memory of the phone and everything will be snappy AF. The hardware in combination with the software in this case the Oxygen OS 13 with Android 13 is making this phone to run absolutely incredibly smooth no matter if you are playing no matter if you are multitasking I have been playing Call of Duty Mobile for quite a while on this phone and I have to say that I didn't experience a single issue I didn't experience any problems at all it was a little bit sketchy at times with the scaling of the picture but this is something that should be addressed to the software not that much to the hardware and when I was playing Call of Duty Mobile except of this uh, scaling issues that I experienced sometimes in uh, very subtle scenarios I don't think that there were any other issues and uh, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is that uh, I'm not so sure how much of a high frame rate uh, gaming does this device support. As I told you OnePlus Open runs on Android 13 in this case with the Oxygen OS 13 shell from OnePlus. This Oxygen OS shell here is on the OK side and I think that there are plenty of things that you can modify to make your phone your own. There are plenty of things that you can modify on the icons, on the colors and things like this so you can customize it but it is not uh, that close to a stock Android that I was thinking of because uh, I have been using OnePlus devices in the past and they were in my opinion a little bit more stockish 
rubbish than uh, this device here but nonetheless the software is on the good side and I like what they did here I like uh, how everything works smooth how everything works fast and nice one of the greatest things that OnePlus achieved with the OnePlus Open is actually the multitasking options because here you can use up to three applications open simultaneously and you can work with them and you can uh, see that everything refreshes everything works properly nothing is uh, blocked on the background or something like this everything is just working as it should be and I find it useful in some scenarios to open two applications so for example I can open Instagram and I can open a website or something if I need some specs of a device that I have forgotten or if I need some hashtags so I don't have to minimize one app and go to the other app or scroll between them something like this you just drag two fingers from the top to the bottom and you can open two apps the screen splits you can select one app you can select the other app and uh, you can use them simultaneously if you want you can add also a third app and you're going to switch between them so it is uh, going to be a little bit of a horizontal scroll but anyways it also works okay and in my opinion the multitasking here on this phone is on a good level and I think that they have just a little bit to catch up to Samsung with their one UI in terms of uh, multitasking but OnePlus did a great job with the multitasking also so another thumbs up from me for the software solutions and for the multitasking part. The bottom taskbar that you're going to find on the phone while the screen is open is uh, a must for affordable device in my opinion because there are some applications that you are going to find on uh, quick toggle you can also uh, change uh, some of the layouts there you can also change some of the applications you are going to find the app drawer you are going to find the recent applications that were open and uh, actually there are some things that you can change on it but I have few things in mind here and first of all the taskbar is not that much of supportive of uh, many applications so I want to see the taskbar to be able to handle more applications even if the icons are getting a little bit smaller so for example in the main part of the taskbar there are only four applications and I cannot add a fifth one so it can shrink the icons a little bit but can uh, populate with another application and maybe this is one of the software things that I can address to OnePlus that uh, I think that this taskbar needs to be a little bit more personalizable so people can uh, work around with it people can make it their own in the beginning of the video I told you that uh, this phone here has a very big uh, camera bump at the back that actually looks good and in my opinion it still looks good and uh, this is because it has a new camera system it has a triple sensor at the back and uh, one of the greatest thing is that here we see a new sensor here we see a 48 megapixel main sensor from Sony this is the T808 and uh, this is the first time that I actually work with uh, camera with this sensor also we have a very nice telephoto sensor with a 3 times optical zoom and six times lossless zoom as uh, the guys from OnePlus say so it basically has to take the middle part of the sensor and zoom it to six times so uh, you are going to have a nice zoom but not something spectacular like uh, with the optical and you also have a very nice ultra wide sensor which will serve you well in most of the scenarios even for video there are also two additional cameras on this phone each for each screen when you open the phone when you go to the main screen you're going to find a 22 megapixel pixel camera which can support uh, 4k up to 60 fps recording and on the car screen you're going to find a 32 megapixel selfie camera so you have no compromise in terms of the camera quality that you're getting with this phone no matter if it is on the inside screen if it is on the cover screen or it is on the main camera system my experience with the cameras is uh, almost flawless if I can say it like that there were some things that I didn't like that much when it comes to the color accuracy between the main sensor and the ultra wide sensor but of course we are seeing this thing to be present in most of the phones nowadays from the main camera you're going to uh, get very nice vibrant photos with very much of a detail with nice dynamics from the ultra wide you're also going to get very nice detail very nice uh, sharpness of the photos and a little bit uh, less of a dynamic photo for the zoom camera I can say that uh, for sure this is the best zoom camera of affordable phone that I have been testing recently and I think that OnePlus is going on the right direction. Now I'm going to leave you with some photo samples so you can decide for yourself and you can also pause for the photos and see if you like them or if you don't like them.
As I mentioned, all of the cameras of the phone can record with 4K up to 60fps, but I have been testing them with 30fps and 4K resolution. So now I'm going to leave you with some video samples also, just to be able to take a look at the camera to see uh, how you like it, to see if you actually like it, because uh, in my opinion the video quality of this here is uh, on a good level, no matter if you're using the selfie camera, no matter if you're using the main camera. And the greatest thing is that when you open the phone like this, you can film yourself with the main camera and see your in the monitor and this will help you with the framing a little bit better so here are the videos so this is a video sample from the front camera of the phone in folded position and this is what you can get from it it is 4k 30 fps and also you can record with up to 60 fps in 4k resolution and from what i see the camera quality is decent from what i can see the contrast is okay the skin colors are okay but everything in the highlights is blown out so maybe it is suffering a little bit in terms of the dynamic range but yeah this is what you can get from the selfie camera now we are going to switch to the inner selfie camera when you unfold the phone and see how it goes there because it can also record with 4k so this is the image quality that you can get from the inside of the phone this is the internal camera in an unfolded position and again 4k 30 fps it can go up to 60 fps but i think that 30 fps is more than enough from what i can see the dynamic range is suffering a little bit the stabilization is good the colors and the skin tone is okay on the screen that i'm seeing it here and uh, this is the best quality that you can get because right now the lighting conditions are almost perfect the lighting is even the lighting is soft so i think that uh, this is the best that you can get now we are switching to the main cameras to see what oneplus did there and to see if they are actually good this is the image quality that you can get from the main camera sensor of the oneplus open this is again in 4k 30 fps and uh, the thing that OnePlus said is that this camera sensor should get almost the one inch camera sensor quality and from what I see it is very nice I see that the dynamic range here doesn't suffer that much like in the front cameras and another great thing is that I can see myself on the screen because I'm using the phone in an unfolded position and when I use it in an unfolded position I can mirror the image from the main camera to the front screen and uh, I can monitor myself so just to be able to see if I am in the frame or if I'm not in the frame so this is the main sensor now we are going to switch to the ultra wide sensor and this is the ultra wide sensor on the oneplus open again 4k 30 fps I see that the color differences here are big at least on the screen of the phone when I check it on the screen at uh, my office I'll see what everything uh, looks like but here the image quality is a little bit different than the main sensor so this is something that they can work into they can work into making the sensors look more uh, more alike to each other and uh, the stabilization is nice the dynamic range is a little bit worse than from the main sensor but overall I think that the ultra wide is also usable and of course keep in mind that this is not a hundred percent camera phone so don't expect to have the best image quality from affordable phones cameras Last but not least is the battery of the phone and here we have uh, 4805 milliamps of battery which is divided in two cells, one bigger, one a little bit smaller. You also have a 67 watt fast charger but you lack the opportunity to wireless charge this phone and this is actually a deal breaker for me for one particular reason and this is that I was always using the reverse charging capabilities of my phones to be able to charge my smartwatches when I'm traveling somewhere. So for example I'm not getting a charger for my watch, for example for my my Huawei watch and uh, I was charging it on the reverse wireless charging of my phones and uh, this is one of the things that I don't really like that here we don't have a wireless charger. I think that OnePlus did a great job with optimizing the software and the hardware to the battery and uh, everything is very power efficient. It can go for a full day with no issues at all and you can start the second day with a little bit of a battery and you have to recharge it again. This of course depends on the usage of the person that uh, is going to have this phone because if you are multitasking with uh, two apps that are multimedia apps for example one app is uh, Instagram one app is YouTube or something like this and they are both running you're going to drain the battery a little bit faster but if it's not that much for multitasking I think that this phone can uh, hold with no worries with no issues at all for a day and a half and uh, that was the case with my usage I got a day and let's say around five hours six hours something like this and I'm pretty happy with the battery life
Another thing that I like uh, and see here is the alert slider that OnePlus ditched for quite a time, but now we can see it here. It is not something that spectacular, but it is a useful slider, a useful button that I enjoy using, that I find easy to be used and I find to be a nice feature. The only thing that I don't want to speak about this phone, and uh, this is mainly because I didn't use it for such a long time, is the durability. Because the durability in such a phone, and uh, especially with a brand new developed hinge, and uh, especially with a new screen, is something that has to be tested in the future. It has to be tested in uh, quite a long time, because if I use this phone for a year or something like this, for a long-term review, I can give you my thoughts about uh, the durability of the hinge, the durability of the screen, but uh, currently I'm not able to discuss uh, this thing, because if I said that the build quality is uh, insanely good, it is perfect, everything like like this um, and it doesn't show up to be that good uh, I will be the one that uh, have fooled you so I don't want to go in this thing the build quality is uh, just about to be seen how it is going to be as a conclusion, I can say that the OnePlus Open is nearly a perfect phone. No matter if you're going for gaming, no matter if you're going for the inside screen, if you're going for the cover screen, it is uh, something that is made adequately. It is made to be good. It is made to be of a high quality. I think that for now, this may be the best foldable phone on the market in terms of the camera, especially because the camera quality is something that is very much compromised in uh, most of the foldable phones. And here OnePlus did a very nice job with the camera system, with the sensors that they are using with all of this Hasselblad partnership that they have and this is maybe the biggest deal breaker for people that want to have a very nice foldable phone with multitasking capabilities and uh, not making a compromise with the camera quality. If you are someone like this, take a look at the OnePlus Open. I don't think that you are going to regret it. In the end of the video, I want to say that this video is not sponsored by OnePlus in any terms, so no one had the opportunity to watch the video before I post it live and everything is based on my personal experience and my personal liking of the phone, so everything that that you see here is my genuine content. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, if you find it useful, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to ring the bell icon for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.